By far the largest area of winter wheat crops in the UK is taken up by hard four feed varieties. And this sector is the one where we see the most varieties coming through in recent years and they've really been pushing what's possible with yield from a winter wheat variety. Before we take a look at the new high yielding options in the hard fours, let's find out about feed markets from Andrew. So the group four varieties are really just grown as a feed wheat in the UK. But the fantastic part about group fours is one, their high yielding potential and their market demand. We use millions of tonnes of feed wheat as a country every single year and then when we have an exportable surplus we are well placed to connect into export potential homes as well. So currently for November 2021 feed wheat is worth about £150 a tonne which for many growers will be above the cost of production. So when we're looking at hard feed wheats, our eyes are naturally drawn towards the top of the recommended list and which variety is going to provide the most yield for us. This year, SY Insider from Syngenta is going to be that variety. This variety has come onto the recommended list level pegging with Skyscraper for the highest yield available. And it's a really strong proposition no matter where you are in the UK. This has consistent yields across all regions it's the highest yielding wheat variety available in the northern region from Northumberland upwards into Scotland and it performs well on all soil types both in a first and a second wheat position. Insider is a reasonably clean variety. There are low levels of yellow rust visible here at the untreated plots in Lincolnshire but in the treated plots this crop is looking very well indeed. The Septoria score is pretty strong for a feed wheat and that helps to support the overall yield and grain quality. Grain quality is one of Insito's standout features. A 78.3 specific weight is at the very top end for our high yielding feed wheats. Insito has a very vigorous growth habit. It is one again that's suited to later drilling. A potential weakness for Insito is going to be its straw strength. It's there as a six when not treated with a PGR on the recommended list. In reality, we're treating all of our wheats with PGR unless spray windows mean that we can't get on. So I wouldn't be put off by that, but it does mean we should be drilling in situ in the main and late drilling window, certainly not before the middle of September. If you do keep on top of it with a PGR program, you'll end up with tall, good quality straw, which is an added bonus in many seasons. In situ represents some of the highest yield potential that we have in any of our winter wheats for drilling this autumn. So it will grab attention for that fact alone. Aside from the straw strength, there are no real compromises with this variety. And as I said, particularly in that late drilled position, this will work well across pretty much any soil type or situation in the UK. Right alongside Insider in our plots and just behind it in yield on the recommended list is KWS Kinetic. This is the latest in the high yielding feed wheats from KWS, building on the success of varieties like Santiago and Kerin. Kinetic is a short, stiff strawed variety that will suit fertile sites well. Its disease resistance profile is average. It is probably a high input, high output variety. But many of us are used to dealing with varieties like that and have been able to push them and get some fantastic yields in recent years. If you've been growing varieties like Kerin, Gravity and Santiago, then Kinetic may well suit your situation. Kinetic has orange wheat blossom midge resistance, which helps to support a fantastically high grain quality, 78.5 for specific weight, which is only beaten by Costello, which Kinetic will outyield by some 5 or 6%. Kinetic suits a wide drilling window, although a Septoria score of 5 means that we might want to resist drilling it too early. When drilled in the main or late drilling window, it's fairly vigorous to get going in the autumn and will pull through to a fairly early maturing harvest, similar to a variety like Glean. If you are a grower who's used to getting the best out of these high input, high output wheats, Kinetic is a really strong choice for 2020, with that unmatched combination of straw strength and grain quality. Another new option for drilling this autumn is KWS Parkin. Parkin narrowly missed out on being added to the recommended list last year. It was slightly below the yield requirement that you need for automatic recommendation. This would have similar yields to the likes of Kerin and Graham, so probably 2 or 3% below the very top yielding varieties. Why are we talking about it then? Well, 
Parking has some really unique features that we very rarely see coming onto the recommended list these days. Parking is the shortest and the stiffest variety available. It is shorter and stiffer than anything else on the recommended list and it will also be the earliest harvest. Now all of those features might remind you of Grafton which arrived on the recommended list way back in 2009. Parking therefore really has a place for people that are looking for stiff strawed or early maturing varieties. On very fertile or exposed sites where lodging can be a risk, parking is an absolute banker. We talked about yield and said that parking is really quite similar to some of our widely grown feed wheats of the moment in terms of kerin, siskin, ixtays. You can see here that it's quite a thick crop and it does tiller well. So whilst we would put this into the early drilling position, we're talking about perhaps the second week of September, maybe a little earlier once we get north of the Humber. It's not Grafton early for drilling. Don't go putting it in in August, but as I say, from the first week of September onwards, this has really good early drilling potential. Disease resistance in parking is fairly solid. A 5.5 for Septoria will need watching, particularly if we're drilling it really early. In summary then, parking is simply the best available variety for short and stiff straw, and with no sacrifice in yield. Particularly well suited to the North and the East Midlands, this variety should do a job for anyone across the country that is looking for those characteristics. So finally in the hard feed wheats we should talk about some of those mainstay varieties of recent years. Uh, and the undeniable farm favourite at the moment is this variety Gleam. Gleam was the largest selling variety last year, uh, fantastically popular all around the country. And the reason for that is that it's just a really good all round package. The disease scores are, whilst not outstanding, solid. We've got above a six for septoria resistance. The growth habit is suited to a really wide drilling window. This will be drilled early, right the way through the main drilling window and on into November. Gleam has performed particularly well in frontier trials. It was the highest yielding variety at this site last year and also the highest yielding variety uh, when we aggregate all of our trials data together. Particularly strong in a second cereal and in a light land situation. So I'd definitely look at Gleam if you've got those conditions on your farm. We expect Gleam to continue to be popular this year. It is now dropping off a little bit in terms of yield versus the newer varieties that we've talked about. But if you want a bankable, reliable, consistent variety, then it's likely you'll be looking at Gleam for this autumn as well. Either side of Gleam, we have two other varieties that have been very popular in recent years. Kerin here and Gravity just over to the right. Both Kerin and Gravity are good options in the late drilling situation, with Gravity in particular having a very, very vigorous growth habit, which means when we put it in late, perhaps in a second cereal situation, it's going to get up quite quickly and it's going to help with competition against troublesome grass weeds. Given the challenges with seed supply this autumn, following a very wet autumn and winter establishment window for our seed crops, it's likely that Kerin, Gleam and Gravity will continue to feature in a big way. The good news is that all are still strong feed varieties when you put them in the right situation.